Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Southeast Radio. Well, this coming Monday marks the start of Local Enterprise Week 2021, with over 200 virtual events taking place nationwide across the week. Reg Cosgrave from the Wexford Local Enterprise Office joins me now to discuss the events that are planned for Wexford businesses during the week ahead. Breach, how has the past 12 months been for the Wexford Local Enterprise Office? Busy. I think that's the first thing. I suppose in terms of rollout of support to businesses, we have had an exponential amount of contact from, I suppose, some of the sectors that traditionally may not have contacted us in the past, such as retail. So I suppose uh, they were reaching out to see what supports, um, if any, were available to them and help them kind of navigate everything from accessing direct financial supports to dealing with staffing issues to inquiring literally, um, you know, in terms of opening, looking at HR issues. We've had a a myriad of, of inquiries. And were you surprised by the level of uptake that was there for the supports that were on offer during the pandemic? We did a major campaign in terms of awareness and saying, look, if you're impacted by COVID-19 as a business, please contact us. And I think in that way, all of the staff, uh, to be fair, operated remotely um, from home base. Uh, We literally covered more or less, you know, right through even weekends in terms of supporting businesses. And of course, Wexford Local Enterprise Office's training programmes were extremely popular amongst the local business community last year. But what type of training was most in demand? Typically, kind of the kind of online, the social media, the marketing ones were were strong. And the reason for that, I suppose, is because uh, we had the trading online vouchers that were available. And that was basically a grant of up to two and a half thousand at 90 percent rate to develop an e-commerce offering. So a lot of businesses, because they had to close their doors, switched to online. So that there was a huge uptake on that. Uh, also, mentoring was extremely popular. People were looking for that one-to-one support, be it sales, marketing, HR, you know, all, all the different uh, aspects of their business. And Breach, how have the needs of businesses evolved over the course of this pandemic? Well, I suppose if if you looked at it kind of one by one in terms of their needs, um, finance will always be a key need for them. I suppose they just to kind of keep keep the business rolling, so cash flow um, would be a key one. And we would have seen the uptake in terms of microfinance, just as an example. Uh, Again, we had a huge number of applicants in 2020 for, for small business loans, basically, to cover cash flow. That would have been one. Um, A second one would be um, the the whole online area. There was a huge learning curve in that. So businesses that traditionally wouldn't have had a website, um, there was quite a bit of one-to-one support for mentors and also the general trading online voucher trading that we give. So that would have been another one. Um, I suppose, like any business, the uncertainty as well. You know, the need for kind of reassurance, the kind of saying, look at... Uh, you know, things will improve. You need to look at your market. You need to maintain your customers um, and to reach out and kind of, you know, reassure them as well, I suppose, that, that you're there and you, you work with them. And Breach, were you encouraged by the local business appetite for change and for them to pivot their business and to reimagine maybe their market as a result? Yeah, I mean, constantly, I suppose, we were amazed in terms of how, how businesses adapted everything from the click and collect to uh, um, neighbour food, just as an example, and businesses kind of supporting each other as well. You know, if they didn't have a delivery system, they were, you know, they were working with other businesses that, that helped them out. Um, and there was a huge drive for, for like, the, the whole campaign, Look for Local, was extremely positive. And even Wexford welcomes you as well, that initiative, to kind of say, OK, here, this is where we are at. But we have within the county some very strong businesses that are there and, and support them over Christmas and over, over the, the, the difficult period. And Breach, Local Enterprise Week starts on Monday next. Remind mm-hmm. us about why this week is so important for local businesses. 
I suppose, again, it's about engagement. It's reaching out and getting the feedback from businesses and also giving them, you know, just concerted week of kind of supports where you can pick up the phone. There's specifically, there's 10 spotlight events that are free of charge. They can attend. Uh, They're all obviously online at the moment. Um, So, again, there's everything from... Um, benefit your business benefiting from green to leadership resilience. Um, there's ag tech um, the support there in terms of a, a webinar, and also we have two master classes in Wexford. Uh, so that is some of some of the supports that are there. Um, the whole idea behind Enterprise Week is, you know, to I suppose to, to highlight, you know, support is there for businesses. Reach out to your local enterprise office. And, and avail of the support. What other events are planned for next week during Local Enterprise Week? We have the master classes. We have also a number of training programmes working with WordPress website. We have, again, we have a trading online audit and uh, review clinic. We have sales clinic. We have Instagram for business and website clinics. In addition to that, I suppose, in terms of um, what is going on during Enterprise Week, we're also judging the uh, Student Enterprise Programme. So I suppose it's it's encouraging the next generation to set up and run their own business. So all their interviews will be taking place from that week, from the 2nd to the 4th. And of course, Breach, Blaise Brosnan is starting the week off on a positive note by gearing businesses up for a post-COVID environment. Yes, yeah. And again, I suppose from discussions with Blaze, the whole team behind this is this is where we're at. And I suppose, you know, what are the options going forward? And as well as that, it's also kind of congratulating businesses that got this far. I think that cannot be underestimated. And 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 showing the the positive aspect in terms of moving forward, because it's all about resilience, really. And, it's, you know, in terms of any business cycle, there are dips and there are, there are highs. So it's working through that. And I think Blaze coming from his background, he is such an experienced entrepreneur himself, a business consultant and mentor. And he has he has over 25 years experience working with businesses. So he'll certainly be able to give sage advice there. And Breach, ideally, who should be attending these virtual events next week and how can they sign up? Well, they're open to all businesses. Um, the master classes and the spotlight events are free of charge. The other events uh, are just a small booking fee of twenty euros. So, we would welcome any businesses that are interested to uh, participate. And all they need to do is go into localenterprise.ie forward slash Wexford, and they'll see the booking link there for each of the individual programs. So, um, certainly, I would encourage anyone who who was either in business, expanding their business, or even starting a business to uh, to listen in to um, the events that are on. And Breach, finally, for business owners that are currently planning for the easing of restrictions and for the reopening of the economy, how can the LEO in Wexford be of assistance to them? I suppose developing plans, I think that is one of the key ones, and planning different scenarios. I think that's one of the, the key learnings over the last 12 months. You know, it's a different environment, I suppose, that we're going in and there is uncertainty on, ten, you know, even in ten, what is the opening date. But it's planning around that. I think that's one of the key ones. I think they should certainly, mentoring is a service that is available. We have reduced the cost of that to €25 Euros per mentor session, which is a huge benefit to businesses. So If you feel that maybe you have um, a weakness or you need to explore new areas, it's a great opportunity to get that that consultancy support. Um, Also, uh, we have a lot of applications coming into us in terms of businesses looking to expand. So also that's available or even we've had a number of new startup businesses that have, have identified a gap in the market. So, again, there's priming grants, business expansion grants, feasibility study grants there that businesses can um, can talk to us about and we can certainly check on their eligibility and see is it suitable for them. Well, if you've just tuned in, that was Breach Cosgrave from the Wexford Local Enterprise Office and I would certainly encourage your listeners to take part in next week's event. Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Southeast.